Hey, what's going on, guys? I show time ninety nine, and today I'm gonna be starting a new little series on making your first XRPC tool. Um, first we're gonna start off with MW two because that's the game I started off with, and really it's the easiest in my opinion. So yeah, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna go up to new project. This is going to be in C Sharp. So you want to click C Sharp Windows, Windows Forms Application, name it. Whatever you would like. So you want to resize it first. Go over to Solution Explorer, and if the Solution Explorer is not open, just go to View and press Solution Explorer. Then you want to come over here, right-click References, Browse, and I will provide this download in below. You want to add XRPC and add one more Dev Control. And then you want to open it up. For some reason it doesn't like it. So you have to drag it in. XRPC++. And you want to add your first button. So you want to go up here. Tools. Toolbox right there. All windows. Double click button. Exit out of it. Drag that over here. Make it big. Right click, properties, connect. You want to name it connect. So you want to come over here on the side and find text. And press connect. Enter it a little bit. I'm going to rename the top two. it again so it's centered and you want to double click oh right you want to double click the button sorry and you want to type in wait hold on I'll be right back okay guys sorry about that um, I had to fix something real quick so first off you want to go up here and go up to using system windows and you want to press enter under that and press using XRPC lib and it'll come up and then you want to put that um I think that's called the semicolon not for sure dev hold on oh using x dev kit and then using XRPC plus plus and then you want to use using Dev component unit bar. If you can copy and paste that three times, then the second one you want to take out that control, and then this one metro. Why aren't these open? I just copy and paste. Okay. Oh yeah, forgot this. So just copy that in right there. Sorry about that. And then that's all. Then you want to go down to. It'll look like this. Yeah, right there. Then you want to go down to here. Hold on. Let me fix it. Okay, it'll look like this. You want to type in XRPC. J tag equals new XRPC close thing that and then you are ready pretty much. So you want to go back 
and add a label. I just want to go down, add a label right there. And yeah, double click connect, and you want to type this in. I will have this in the download link below. Just type that in right there, or copy and paste it from the download. If you don't want to download it, just pause the video right here, and you can see. Um, yeah, so now you want to start off, go back. To the toolbox, add another button. Oh, yeah, and if you want to make your little background pretty, I usually just do this form Mexro or Mexro form, sorry, and I'll just do that to it. And then I usually change the color of that Mexro white. Oh, mint. I don't know why I said Mexro. You want to rename this to not connected. You can put that pretty much right there if you would like. I'm gonna resize all this. Okay, so you want to resize this, go down to properties, and call this one super jump. Double click it, and then you want to type in jtag dot right float. I think the number is zero x eight two. Zero zero one eight three two comma nine nine and yeah so this is just setting the jump height to nine 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 then you want to do jtag dot call s E, comma. Oh, what's that? S D, comma. Oh my God. No, comma. Minus one for all client, and then host one, and then. Hosting C that another one super jump on and then yeah that's what you want to do oh and I forgot to add I forgot we had to add this you want to go under XRPC and type in public UINT SD equals zero X eight two two five four nine four zero and that should get rid of the error. Yep. Okay. And you want to go back, copy and paste that, and let's see. Now we'll do unlimited ammo. Wait, what time are we at? Nine minutes left. We'll just do this real quick. One win. Um, double click it. I'll just copy and paste that. Wait, no, that, that'll confuse the guy. This is different. JTAG dot right. Um, thirty two. I N 
F A M M O zero S seven G two four G seven eight again. And you can just copy and paste that right there. And There you go. And now we gotta fix that error. This is hold on, I gotta find the error. Okay, now you wanna go back up under FD, you want to type in Public UINT and then I N F A M M O equals zero X eight two zero G one seven two four and next. Make sure that got rid of it. Yep. Okay, now you want to go back. And press this thing, and it will build it. And if it says succeed, that means it works. And now we turn my controller on, and we'll see if it connects. Connected, enjoy. Yep, so it connected, so it should be working. So this is going to end this tutorial, because we're getting 12 minutes, and that's way longer than I wanted it to be. So yeah, next um, episode will be God Mode, Unlock All, and all that stuff most likely. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Please rate, comment, subscribe for the next tutorial, which will be coming out soon. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.